right now on mitigation and uh, adaptation uh, adaptation uh, if there is uh, the the ministry are already uh, prepared for an emergency with Jerubu. So we will we will have a measurement. Once we have the measurement that hits certain amount of uh, haze, we'll have cloud seeding to make rain and then once it hits certain thing, what, what we are going to do, we are all prepared for emergency. But of course we don't hope that the haze comes, right? So one thing is during emergency we are ready. But if it is uh, we mitigate mitigating it, there are two things. One is open burning in Malaysia, another one is transboundary haze, which is which is actually bigger impact than the uh, open burning. Open burning, we already started to uh, do more enforcement, and uh, Jabatan Alam Skita, I uh, also have sent a notice to local council, bomber, uh, respective agencies to give them the power to to investigate cases as well, so that we have more people that are on the ground to do this uh, catching the open burning culprits. Transboundary haze is something that you cannot do within the the boundary. Uh, I am going to Indonesia for for a ministerial visit to my counterpart ministers, including the energy ministers, uh, the environment ministers, as well as the science and technology ministers, because my ministry is actually three. So I, when I meet with environmental minister, uh, there are many issues that we are going to discuss. One of it will be uh, the transboundary haze, yeah, open burning and what we can do. But I want to say this is that um, after Jokowi become the president, um, actually um, the, the open burning in uh, Indonesia is very well controlled. You see, for the past two years, actually, we do not have um, uh, haze from Indonesia. And so, so I'm quite confident with his leadership. But at the same time, you know, it's always good to have a dialogue with the environment minister. But I, I would, haze will be one of the issues that we discuss, but we will discuss many other issues. Yeah.